Pete Daigle here with a very curious instrument I'd like to show you. It's an auto harp. I believe because of the style that uh, and because of this chord you see right here that it was probably made in the 40s. It is electric. There's the volume knob right there. It has eight chord bars. The eight chord bars are made to slide on a rail so that they can go into three different positions. The strings are fully chromatic and the three different positions will give you 24 chords uh, out of the eight uh, buttons. It has 40 strings. It has this uh, keyboard made up on the bottom not functional, it just is to show you where you're playing and what notes you're playing. I'm going to lift the bar set off and show you this really crazy magnetic pickup that was made for it. It's uh, encased, it's got a couple of plates here that I believe are some kind of bake light and these bars, each one is a magnet, and uh, they are all wired up to uh, a uh, uh, box down below that has a lever on it that the player can move with his leg. The lever has the uh, the uh, lever is attached to a uh, uh, potentiometer that has a capacitor on it, and we think that that means it was probably changing the tone rather than the volume, just making it kind of a, an early wah-wah pedal. Uh, the volume would be this pot up here. Um, that's about all I know about it. It did at one time have a label. Okay, the label's gone now, but the label, the fact that it did have a label tells me that it may very well have been a prototype of some sort. Uh, but by who and for what, it's a big mystery. There's no names on it because the label is now gone. All we can go by is the style and uh, the crazy stuff that it was made to do. So eventually I'll get this fixed up and if it can play, we'll make it play. And when it does, I will get back to you again and uh, tell you how it works.